So you got two doses of March madness happening. We talked about the weather. Now let's talk about Maction time. Toledo and BG women both looking to keep their seasons alive. We got a little preview this morning with some nerve wracking results for the Rockets. Tyler Segerman is live in Cleveland with more tonight for us. Tyler, what happened? Yeah, that's right, guys. Survive in advance is a phrase you'll hear a lot this month, and it didn't take long for that to take effect here in Cleveland. Toledo women, the number one overall seed, avoiding an upset as they hold on for a win against Buffalo 75-74 in overtime. Now, from the jump, this game went back and forth. Nan Garcia was the leading spark plug early on. She had 15 first-half points, including a buzzer-beating three to end the half. Buffalo, though, came ready to shoot and gave UT fits on defense. Neither team was able to separate. When it came down to it, though, the MAC Player of the Year stepped up. Quenisha Lockett making big play after big play. She finished with 19 points, 7 assists, and 5 rebounds, capped off by a monster defensive stand in overtime to seal the victory. Rockets continue to find ways to win, and they do it again on Wednesday. Getting stops when you need to get them, hitting big shots at big moments. This group answered the call every time they had to, and I, I just couldn't be more proud. I never felt like it was out of reach. I kept looking at the time and the score and the timeouts we had, and I knew we were fine as long as we didn't give up something on the other end, uh, as long as we hit our free throws, as long as we executed, I knew we'd at least get a good shot, and we more than got a good shot, we hit it, and that, that's important. The benefit of playing an 11 a.m. game is now the Rockets will have plenty of time to get rested and return to the court Friday against Kent State for the Max semifinal. As for Bowling Green, they just started their second half game uh, against Eastern Michigan. They're up by 20 in the halftime. Of course, we'll have full highlights and reaction from their game coming up later tonight. For now, in Cleveland, Tyler Segerman, WTOL 11.